So simple golf lesson today for golfers who want to hit better tee shots. So this is a driver specific golf lesson. It can work for improving your iron, so you could call it an iron golf lesson as well, but predominantly it's a driver golf lesson. We're gonna be talking about how you turn your shoulders, how you move your body, really simplistic drill that's helping so many golfers improve the way they turn, which then improves the way they deliver the club. And when we say turn, we're talking rotations, and guess what? Tilts as well. So you stand up here on the tee, you've got the road down the right ear, and you're like petrified that you're gonna slice it out boom over the road. Common, common issue with golfers hitting tee shots that literally don't go where they want. It makes them put the driver away. It makes golf not as much fun to play and your scores are way higher than you want them to be. So I'm using this turn drill. It's really simplistic. You can use it on the course. You can use it on the practice range. You can do it at home in the garden to give players a better feel of how they need to turn, which gives them much better control of the delivery of the club. So I mean if they're swinging out to in or into out or square on. So much better delivery of their kind of club path, which is a real golf swing basic. And it's allowing them to do all this work, all these fixes by simply making a stronger backswing. So it's a kind of backswing golf lesson that's putting people into a better place that allows them then just to pull the trigger. So the most common issues I see with amateur golfers, everyday golfers, is they turn their shoulders very flat on the backswing. So they turn them very, very flat around this way. Some do a lot of rotation and turn them quite flat, lifting this up, lifting them up. Then we see the big old turn over the top. And then I see lots of golfers using sways with not much rotation. They might have some tilt, but they kind of just pick the club up and then turn club path out to end horrible big slices. That's what this drill's really gonna start breaking down. And the reason I love this drill is you can do it at home and doing it at home will allow you to get your body remembering this movement, stretching you out, getting you feeling what you need to feel when you get to the golf course. So you can do lots of the practice off course. So it's this simple, I'm gonna address a ball, take my stance, get myself ready to go. And then what I'm gonna do is simply pick the club up and I'm gonna pop the grip end out in front of me here the head is towards my right chest, and I'm just gonna place the club across my shoulders or across my chest here. So it's not on my chest, you can kind of cross your arms and put it on your chest. I have a microphone here, so I won't do that. I'm just gonna put the club shaft across my shoulders. Now, with the ball in the position it was in at setup, what I'm gonna try and do now is I'm gonna rotate the grip end of the club beyond the ball. So what I mean by that, when I rotate my shoulders, when I rotate my chest, get my hips turning, I'm getting the shaft of the club this side. It's actually pointing here of the ball. So everyone who's doing the sway with not much turn, you're gonna cover the ball with the shaft or even have the club pointing this side of the shaft. For most golfers, that's not gonna do the trick. So we're using the ball as a gauge, take your set up, put the club on, and I'm now gonna try and rotate that club this side of the ball. So I'm actually gonna try and feel like it's almost at 90 degrees, the shaft is turned to where I wanna hit the ball. It's gonna make me feel like my hips wanna turn and tilt more. It's making me feel like I want to tilt more, which we'll come to because you can use this to get your tilts right as well. If you're someone who turns quite flat, you might be able to do this really easy. So my club is beyond the ball, but it's pointing, shooting off almost level with the ground here as well. And this is the second part of this drill, which is really good. You can use this shaft to understand the tilts. So basically these are what we call side bends, rotations, side bends because a good backswing consists of rotations and tilts. And that's where lots of people get confused. I see so many golfers just rotating. And if you're one of those who just wants to rotate, what happens is we do get these kind of really flat shoulder positions. Then we get some funky hand positions often as well, which is kind of, whoa, these downswings, which causes those horrible shots. So with the same drill, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and turn that shoulder that upper body, that chest and your hips, allow them to move to allow it to get round so the shaft gets beyond the ball. Now I'm going to also try now keep the shaft coming inside of the ball. So as I tilt, I'm going to move it so the shaft of my club basically was tracing a line here, just coming inside of the ball and getting that club shaft to come just your side of the ball as you rotate it behind it is doing both movements. It's allowing you to put side bends in as you add rotation, where for lots of golfers, like I say, we see maybe tilts, not much turns, or we just see huge turns, not much tilts. And the reason this is so important is that these movements are what are gonna allow you, A, to take the club back, so get the club moving back from the ball, 
in some direction. So tilts, not many turns is a common pattern that way. Turns, not many tilts is a common pattern this way. So yeah, all of you trying to improve your takeaways, improve your golf swings in the way that you take the club back in your back swings. This is all playing its part. And then what happens as well, it not only takes the club back, it sends it up. It is what actually sends the club up in the air. If any of you thought one, when I tap that ball there, in your minds, you, come on, stop that silliness. One. <laughs> yeah, I did it too. So I'm gonna now do a practice swing, club down by the ground, I'm gonna rotate. So I'm gonna try and feel that my shoulder, lead shoulder now, and I'm gonna represent the lead shoulder. So through the grip, I can see when I do this with the grip training aid that my shoulder gets kind of just level with the ball to just this side and it's certainly way under where the ball is. So I'm going to imagine that club is still on my shoulders even though it's not and try and replicate that action because again it's helping me take the club back on some reasonable path and it's allowing me to set it up in the air, it's going to allow me to pick up that speed to give it the whack that I want to give it. And integrating these drills I would do this on the, you know, I would be getting ready to hit, maybe do a couple of them and then step in and apply that idea to a shot. Oh yeah, bang. That is an absolute ripper. Hitting better tee shots, making better turns and tilts is gonna allow you to lower your score. If you're trying to break 80, I've got a full series on it here, starting with distance in driving.